coming up on News 9 Live at 5. When you see pink flamingos, you may not think wheeling, but it's actually becoming a pretty common sight in the friendly city. I'll explain why coming up. We gotta try things at this point and hope that they work. And we're learning of a new breakthrough in the fight against coronavirus. That plasma can be transfused in patients who are currently infected with COVID-19. How plasma treatment can help its recipients fight off COVID-19. News 9 is everywhere. This is News 9, live at 5. Two people charged in the death of a two-year-old boy appeared in front of the Steubenville Municipal Court late this afternoon. It's our top story tonight. Thanks for watching. I'm Kate Davison. And I'm Rich Pierce. During testimony today, a detective investigating the case told the court the child was malnourished and dehydrated, and the room Oxley was staying in reached nearly 100 degrees. News 9's Gage Golding joins us live now in Studio 9 with more from the proceedings this afternoon. Gage. Good evening, Rich and Kate. Thank you. Both Melissa Barnes and Kay and Franklin are facing charges of reckless homicide, a felony of the third degree. During the hearing, Subinville Police Detective Eric Dervis called the home, quote, deplorable. On Thursday, August 13th, Barnes and Franklin put the child to sleep. The last time they saw the child.